Well, first of all, there really hasn't been a swing to the right among voter attitudes. It, there's a swing in terms of their votes, but that has to do with their attitude toward the performance of the, the Obama administration. Uh, statistically speaking, about two-thirds of the Democratic losses this time were due to economic conditions. About the other third is due to what Obama did or didn't do. Not really. Uh, this is a, a, a misconception, not only uh, in other countries, but in the U.S. as well. Uh, the simple fact is the American electorate doesn't look much different from the way it looked a generation ago. What's changed is the parties are more polarized. And so the candidates the voters are choosing between are more polarized, not the voters themselves. Both. Uh, there is a sense in which uh, the, the country has, thinks the entire political class in America is out of touch with ordinary voters. And so there was clearly an anti-establishment uh, tone to the election, but it was also more specifically a reaction against what the Democratic administration has done uh, in the first two years. I think you can point to, obviously, to health care and obviously to cap and trade, and we can show statistically that both the votes on both those issues hurt Democrats. That probably had all the Democrats who were in any kind of trouble voted no on those issues. They could have saved close to the 20 seats uh, over and above the economy. The, um, I, I don't think you can necessarily say that what Obama proposed was so radical, each proposal. It was, I think, people got a sense they were being hit with so many things at once that they were overwhelmed by the accumulation rather than any specific policy. they have brought the issue of public spending and debt to the front burner. Uh, it's been coming, we know we have to deal with these, and yet both parties have just been kicking it down the road. Now they no longer can. And so the Tea Party is a reaction uh, to, to these issues and to put these issues on the front burner. I think he could. The question is whether Republicans will work with Obama. I think uh, th there are precedents for a president taking a licking like this, like Bill Clinton, and then getting stuff done, although he had a war with Newt Gingrich for the first year. Uh, the question is whether Republicans will find it in their interest to work with Obama or whether they'll continue this pure oppositional strategy they have followed. No. Uh, I think the, the recovery is the key to everything. Uh, I remember a Washington columnist called me uh, about two months before the election. He says, can, can Obama take any advantage of his opportunities between now and the election? And I said, what opportunities? And he rattled off things like, well, withdrawing from Iraq, the Palestinian peace process. I said, the, the electorate is simply not focused on any of that. The electorate is focused on jobs and the economy. Until they get past that, other than a vast terrorist attack in the US, nothing is going to knock them off uh, their focus on the economy. I think none of the ones we're seeing, I mean, they're all contenders, but I can't see any of the fairly shop-worn group that's out there right now. They all have, have uh, problems. What's interesting about Sarah Palin is she, she's, uh, she's an intelligent person. There's no question about that. And she had a, a good future in politics, but she was thrust out of the national stage too quickly. And uh, she's just not informed. And so I think it was a disservice to her, uh, the McCain campaign, in their desperation, putting her on the ticket. And she's going a different route now. Uh, she's going to make a lot of money. She's, a, she's an important voice in American politics. But even the Tea Party people, Majorities, according to surveys, do not think Sarah Palin is qualified to be president. They like to listen to her, they like her sentiments, but they differentiate between a, a spokesperson, somebody who's talking, and somebody who actually has the capacity to be president.